How you doing? I hope you're doing well. No. Harley, I... You have been... Quite the trickster, if I might say. you so I'm not going to fly off the handle like I usually do. No, I'm going to talk to you because I'm reasonable and we're both the human. We make mistakes, which is what you did. A little error, I might say. Anyway, nonetheless, mm -hmm. you have been just a little bit naughty, but that is what you do, right? You be bad, you cause trouble. Miss Quinzel, I really, really hate. <laughs> That's a strong word, but I do. I hate it. When you, uh, you let things go. You don't uh, always stand up for yourself, you see, and that's, that's not okay. It's, it's, it bothers me. I, I hate, a uh, strong word, I hate being bothered now. But that's okay. It's perfectly fine. Uh, okay. I have a few coins here that I collected. Curious as to what's her worth. do older things. Classics. Now everybody shoots each other and they don't use a knife. Knives are so much more personal. You know all about knives, don't you, Harley? I know you do. I sure as hell know you do. Just struck me just right now that maybe, just maybe, you need to be punished. Do you think you need to be punished, Harley? Well, how do I punish you? I mean, you'd like it if I hit you around, smacked you around a bit. You're even smiling through that blindfold uh, being tied to this chair. What can I honestly do to you that you wouldn't like? Because 
wish I am, quote, befuddled. Yeah. I'm walking around you and you just seem so perky. I don't even know what to do with you anymore. But uh, I've come up with some ideas. Fun, interesting. I apologize earlier. I get out of myself, you know how it is. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave you here to sit for a while in the dark while I go off and do our job. And when I come back, then maybe we'll get started. Won't we? Miss Quinzel.